like a Bavarian village on acid. Good morning. Up early to catch a shuttle to the train station at the airport. And you probably know this by now, but our next destination is... That didn't work. Zanza Chams. Probably somewhat of a tourist trap, but all the travel vloggers that I've seen that have visited here seem to say it's worthwhile. Uh, it's nine o'clock, the park opens at 10. Um, you can purchase a ticket, which is 17 and a half euros. Um, you can also walk around for free. So I'm gonna see what I can do for this first hour. And then once things open up, see if the ticket's worth it or not. So let's check this out. So this particular windmill is labeled an oil mill. So it must be in the production of oil. And this windmill is labeled as the sawmill. So underneath in the building must be cutting lumber using the power of the wind. So Zantenschans is meant to be a recreation of Dutch life in the 18th and 19th century. In 1961, they began moving these buildings and windmills to this location in order to recreate a village during that time. Maybe I should have known this, but I didn't know sheep made cheese. And that was the best cheese I had in there. It was fantastic. So this souvenir shop has pretty much everything you could think of. Even diamonds, which I would not have thought. Mm -hmm. So it's now 10.30 and the crowds are starting to develop. The tour buses are pulling in. Glad I got here a little early. The wood we use is poplar. We use uh, kind of wood because when it's fresh and wet, it is very easy to cut it. Like Dutch cheese, <laughs> but the taste is different. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Traditionally, wooden shoes were made by hand. The up to three hours to make a pair of wooden shoes by hand. But I don't have the time for the skills or the energy. <laughs> <laughs> so I use the machine behind me and it takes only five minutes to make a wooden shoe. I will try to show first the outside. Same system as copying keys. I copy the sample on the machine. I will make an exact copy.
And now we have our lovely shoe. But I am not done yet. There are still two parts to cut out. The toe and the heel. We do the thread actually by hand with a large knife. Because they are strong, officially safety issues in Netherlands. Second, they are waterproof, so perfect for Dutch rainy weather. And the third reason, the most important one, to wear them, is because they are very charming, as you can see. <laughs> we wear them with thin woolen socks for cushioning, and for the warmth, and with one finger space between the heel of the shoe and the heel of the foot to prevent blistering and to have the right size. Thank you very much. Zons and Shans, yeah. The place opens officially at 10, but I would recommend getting here at 9. It's a little past 11 and it is getting crowded and I'm sure it's gonna get more crowded. So I think I've seen everything there is to see. And um, I'm gonna take off, hop on the train and see where we go from there. So inside the shoemaking building, they had photos of old Dutch villages and you can see how the buildings here are those in those photos as well. It's more than just the windmills. The village and the way this is set up is really neat. Definitely a tourist attraction, but worth seeing. I don't know if the 17 and a half euro ticket is worth it, but just coming here early and walking around is definitely worth the time. Yeah, this bridge was empty when I walked across it at 9 a.m. and it's now 11.15. And one final look as I cross the bridge to walk back to the train station. Zones of shock. All right, so I thought I'd address this because this is, I've been wondering about this as well. So when I first got here and bought the train ticket to Utrecht, um, I did it using the Rome to Rio app. So I had a, a digital QR code that just doesn't, didn't work. So when I tried to tap out, it was trying to use Apple Pay. And when I was leaving Utrecht, I found out that Apple Pay is an accepted method of payment for the train stations, in fact, all public transportation in the Netherlands. Uh, today, I've been asked twice. Uh, one guy at the train station at the airport uh, who thought I was Dutch, um, asking what to do with the paper tickets. Cause I thought if you bought a paper ticket or if I had printed out my QR code that it would have worked. So I don't know. And then I just now was approached by someone who had bought a paper ticket and didn't know whether to tap in or tap out with that. So if there's someone watching this in the Netherlands and maybe you can explain in the comment, um, how the train system works. If you bought a train ticket and did not want to use Apple pay, Appreciate it. Thank you. So when I was on stops, I saw a map of the area, and this is the town where I changed trains, uh, Zandam. And from the map, it looked like it was a pretty neat little town to check out with shopping. And getting off of the train station right away, I do believe this proved correct. It's a very cool little area, so let's check it out.
right, that's it for Zen Dam. Um, I ended up having a burger and a shake. Not really worth sharing, but what a cool little town. I knew nothing of this place this morning and really glad I stopped. And back in Amsterdam, uh, just a quick pit stop, someplace I wanted to check out. I'm going to do a full day tomorrow here uh, with a walking tour and also have tickets to Anne Frank, Anne Frank Museum. Um, so for now, though, I just got a place I want to check out here. I'm probably head back to the hotel for the day. So this uh, comes highly recommended off the internet. Uh, New Gelato, about a mile walk from Amsterdam Central Station. I've got hazelnut, salted caramel, and structure pillow. Oh, that's the hazelnut, and that is really good. I'll dive in one more time. Salted caramel. Hazelnut's better. Oh, the hazelnut's So I'm used to a lot of. Hopefully there's a closer location. But it was worth it. It was worth it. So instead of walking back to the station, I am utilizing Amsterdam's fantastic public transportation. Took the tram to the metro station and I'm now catching the metro to Amsterdam Central. One of the things I thought was interesting was on the tram, there was a conductor that was actually kind of looked like she looked like she was in a DJ booth. I thought it was kind of funny. Back at the airport and paid a visit to my new favorite store, Albert Hein. Got some uh, Jimmy's iced coffee for the morning because that is the coffee in the hotel just didn't cut in. Some water and some yogurt for dinner. Go figure. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Tomorrow we're gonna have a full day in Amsterdam. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Zanzashans. Zanzashans. Is that a good name for a store? <laughs>